I'm reviving right now. Let's go! So as a surf fisherman and someone who's fished a ton for super big striped bass, I'd always heard of this fish that everyone was saying was not only one of the most fun fish to catch for the surf, but also one of the most challenging fish. They did everything that what the fish that I fish for being a striped bass does, but they also do that 10 times harder and they're almost impossible to hook. Are they really hard to hook? Am I gonna be able to hook into one? And if I do, am I gonna be able to land it? I've been fishing my whole life and I've been fishing for striped bass and striped bass are some of the most challenging fish to find, uh, especially really big striped bass. And my whole goal going down to Florida was to fish for tarpon and weeks Leading up to this, I was like, the only thing that I want to catch is a tarpon. I want to test my skills uh, that I've honed over years and years of surf casting for one of the hardest fish, but I've always heard that there's this mythical sounding fish out there that's huge and powerful and has scales and it feels like it's made out of metal. And I've always heard of this fish and I, for years, have always wanted to test my skills against the fish. I looked on Google Earth, I looked for very similar, very similar pieces of structure to what I would look for for striped bass. Apparently really hard to find. And during that period of time that we were there in Florida, everyone that we talked to said, there's no chance you get one, it's a cold front. We picked the worst time of year to come and fish, and we picked the worst stretch they said this is our first cold front in a while so they're the tarpon are not going to be feeding even if you find them but if you find them that's going to be a feat in among itself there's a lot of them whatever the fuck they are they all just spooked i think they're I know. Yeah, but there's, I think, some bigger things mixed in with them. Oh, wow. That was a big spook. They spooked big time there. Seems like there's some big wakes out there. We're kind of with the wind, so that helps a little bit. Oh! Holy shit, that was a tarpon. Okay, 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 okay. Relax, Finn, relax. You're okay, you're okay. This is only everything you've been dreaming about. There's no way you're hooking that. With those little hooks? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I need a bigger, I need some. <laughs> Let me try something a little different. I mean, yeah, they're hitting it, but like, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, that was legit ass tarpon. Now I'm shaking. Now we got the shakes going. Um, let's grab this. <laughs> That's like a 40 pound tarpon, or or maybe 50. That's pretty fucking huge. Jesus Christ. That was legit. Oh, there's something on me. Oh! No, did he? He's hooked. He did take it, didn't he? What the fuck? Look, it's running. Whatever it is, is running. <laughs> Shit. What did he break me on? Did my knot fail? Or did he just snap me clean? Nope, it just snapped me. All right, we're going 50 <laughs> or 60. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't know if that's, I have no idea what it is though. I, I think it's a barracuda. That one was a tarpon. That might've been like a shark or something weird. <sighs> damn, my goddamn plug has gone. My whole mindset was going into this. If I grind it out and I love grinding out, trying to find fish. If I grinded it out, we were going to find one. And that's just in my head. And I was thinking about that the entire time we were there. And so the first thing we did, first spot we went to, sure enough, tarpon rolling, blowing up on our plugs. It was unbelievable that we found them. We learned pretty damn quick that those fish are almost impossible to hook. And it was fun to see how big those fish were and how powerful those fish were and how they could snip 60 pound fluorocarbon with their gill plates or their mouths or something like that in an instant. Like that to me was just so amazing for a first interaction with this fish. And so I went then and did some more research. We went out at night. I jumped a few tarpon at night, you know, have that opportunity to kind of see what it's like to be out there fishing for them at night was a cool opportunity. Going down there, I just, I wanted to test my skills as a surf fisherman. And I'd long heard that this was one of the most challenging fish to surf cast for. Pretty slippery. It's not too bad though. All right. This would be the ideal place to hook one. Oh, I got whacked by something. They're fairly up on the surface here. Part of me is like, should I throw a spook out here? Or is... I also have a soft plastic. I did, it was like a jack, I think. I was ripping this thing in and a jack crushed it. Of course, now they're down. I don't know if I should be throwing top water. Or... I have no idea what the f I'm doing. Oh, shit. Almost. That was one right there. Tighten up. I gave him a few good whacks, just didn't pin him. Damn it. All right, they're out here. And they, they're eating this. And when I got locked in, I've never been locked in on any other fish but a striped bass. And when I got locked in after breaking off on those first few tarpon, it was full laser focused. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, shit, I got hit there. <sighs> oh, they're right there, right there. Turpin right there. He hit it right there.
gold right there. Part of me's like, maybe I should have a lighter drag, but yeah, let's try that. Yeah, but I can't have my, I need a good hook set, right? Okay, keep talking myself out of it. Those were some freaking monsters. If, I, if they roll like that out here, I can drop it on them. Holy manatee right in front of me. Jesus. Buddy! <whistles> like you see them roll and they're, they're messing with me. There's another 10 casts. So you could get, get something to come and hit my shit. Mm. That thing rolled kind of over here. I was one. I landed on his mouth. Do you see that? I wasn't expecting that at all. I was so wi wild. Holy shit. I thought it was seaweed. He ate it, he ate it instantly. Shit. Look at that. Pulled my pants down. That was wild. I was not expecting that. Shit. That was a big fish. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I fucking can't win for losing. Just so inconsistent. Yeah. Man, I thought that was seaweed. Come on, Finn. I thought it was seaweed because it ate it on the drop and I didn't even feel it. So I just let it sit there because I thought I was on seaweed. Oh. You gotta be on your game so hard with these things. Oh! Did you see how hard I hit him? Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh. I thought I had him. Did, did you see how hard I hit him? Yeah. It was big. Shit. Oh. I hook set like eight times. Oh. Oh. Oh, I just got whacked. Got hit.
seems to be some sort of a, a line here. <sighs> like a line of weed. And the tarpons seem to be kind of on this line here. It's just got to be current. When I was walking down to the rock to fish, after dropping a bunch of fish, the sun was starting to go down at this point. I knew my opportunities to catch one during the day was dwindling and we'd, be fit, we'd been fishing all day long. I was done. I was physically and mentally fatigued. I was totally done. But walking down there, I said to myself, I'm going to catch one right now. And that's what's gonna happen. I said, there's just no other option. I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna cast until I hook one and land one. And so what I did is I got my rod, took a deep breath, walked down there and locked in. We're into them. He's about to go. It's the longest I've been hooked onto one. It's a big ass fish, that's for sure. Take our time with it. <laughs> this is scary. Keep him down, or try our best at least. I'm a fool if this is, if I think this is fights even remotely over. <laughs> no, we're still good. Why don't you turn? Yeah, we're just being patient. Trying to tire it out the best I can. Look kind of like a striped bass. <laughs> Just trying to let them let them fight. Just trying to look to get them. To turn. He's just dogging in the current.
I have pretty light drag on them to be honest. It's not where I want you to go to. Can we have how about you turn? Just turn you. right here. Oh, he just sips some air. I think he's hooked pretty good at this point. We're good. No, you don't do that. This fight is far from over. He could definitely still take off. He could definitely still take off. I'm gonna try to bring him away from this stuff and get them confused in the weed a little bit here. I just don't want them to swim over the anything. All right, we caught like a 50 something inch tarpon, which is just amazing. I don't know how much of the fight we got on film, but that's just amazing. That's a beautiful fish on the reviving. Right now, revive this badly. That's beautiful. All right, what a fish. Let's go! Woo! Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, we fought so hard for that one. Oh, oh my God. It was quite an amazing experience to be able to fish for this fish. And uh, I have unfinished business with it. I have unfinished business.